Welcome to this video showing you how to quickly program a test plan for the MCS 42 SEL THT AOI from Modus. The first thing we should do is hit the E button to get to the test plan menu. Next we hit new, put in a name for our new test plan, select the camera we would like to see and push the start live button to see the live stream from the camera. We can then put in our board, which is a little bit dark, so we could adjust the exposure time down here to get the image more clear. Now we see that there is a light difference between the top and the bottom of the board. That's why we have a flat field correction calibration. To calibrate the system, we first put in a gray calibration plate under the camera. Go to the FCC tab in the interface and hit the update button, which will recalibrate to that calibration plate. We now see that the image is much more stable, so we can enable the flat field correction and replace our board under the camera. We can also limit the region we want to work with by using the ROI feature here. Just resize the frame to the size of the board and hit apply. Another calibration which is available for us is the automatic light adjustment. So right now the system is quite sensitive for any light disturbance. For example, if you're using the hand lamp here and illuminating the board, you will see that the whole board is getting much brighter, which will interfere with any test we want to place on the board. That's why we have an automatic light adjustment. We just hit update reference and enable this feature. And if we now use the hand lamp again, we see that the shadows will appear from the lamp, but the overall brightness will be the same. So our tests will be stable even during sunlight or evening sessions. We have some more features here, like a special tab to adjust the color settings for the image and also some settings dependent on the camera which we can leave by default right now. So now we are done setting up the image. So we just hit OK and proceed to the editor to put in some test fields here. So just push the editor button and we should start with fiducials and can use the edges here for that. So you just draw a rectangle, place it on that position, right click and choose test parameters new. Choose an algorithm, we now choose the circle on edge to detect this circle shape. And you can also put in some descriptive text here, fiducial not found, okay. Hit okay again and there's our test field. We can double click to change the circle size and tell the software it should use it as a fiducial. So copy that one, go down here, place it there and we have a second one and we go over to the other spot, place it there as well. Last one over there and we're done placing the fiducials. We'll set it up later. So let's proceed with the actual components. We could pick any of the components here. Let's take this one and we basically do the same again. We create a rectangle, new test parameters, check for component position and we use the same algorithm because the component is a circle shape. So this is not a fiducial, so unclick that. Change the size of the circle to search for. Now we add a second test field, put an inside, change the test parameters again. We also should check for the component missing with area from color table here. Second test field and lastly we want to check for the polarity. So we put in a third one like this and another new test parameters to check for polarity 
with a difference polarity mode. We need some rasterizing here. Just put in the number, press OK. There it is. Now we can group all that together to create a component. Right click, designer. We can arrange all these a little bit. Hit designer again. It says a new component. We now call it demo one. And there's our first component. If we have the same component on the board, we can just copy it there and another one down there and we have all these components programmed. If we have another one which is basically the same, we can just copy it there, go to the designer to change the test fields, enlarge all of them a bit, this one as well, and the little one in the center, hit D again, say it's a new component, and put in your name and there's the second one, copy it over there. So even with another component, we will just use the test fields we just created, copy them over there and adjust these. We need another test algorithm for this one. Change the size a bit. This one has a search area which we can adjust. For the polarity we will use another algorithm because there's no polarity marker like that here. We just put one down there on that little edge, turn it around 45 degree and put it right on the spot. This one can be like that. And we also have the possibility to maybe check if that's the correct component. So we want to check for this text over here. We can just put in a test field there. Test parameter new and we use the TH in find mode to see if it is the right component or not. So this one has a search area as well where the text can move in. And that's our new component, so we call it demo3. Copied over there and we have both of them now. So one is missing, didn't copy it, just replace it. All right. And even if we have a total different component like this one here, I won't create the test fields new. I'll just take one of those I already created like this, put it there and change it in the designer. So we don't need this one and we don't need that one. But we want to check that the component is there. So we adjust the center one a bit and we need a different algorithm for this one. So we have a third one which can check for the position, match image. Just the size again for the match image we want to have the test field as big as the search area. Now we can arrange all that again and hit designer and say it's component number four. And here we are, created all the components we want to check right now. So the next step would be to set up the parameters in the test center. So let's go over there. Our program is split in two, so in the editor you set up the test fields and in the test center you can specify the parameters needed for the test. So in the test center we see all the test fields we created. We start with the fiducials. The software will go through these parameters from left to right. So first we can adjust brightness and contrast and we see live in the images to the right what happens. We have pre-filters, which we can use to enhance the image for easier detection. Let's choose some to get a better, better view of this circle shape. Now we use the edges image to change the threshold values here. So we only see the circle shape we want to check for like that. bit lower. Okay. And next we go to the accumulated view. 
and adjust the radius to have a perfect match in the center and there's the circle. So now we just have the limits to set. It should find a circle shape of minimum 50 degree and I don't care how much the fiducial moved. That's our fiducial. Can check the other ones. Need to adjust the radius a bit here. That's better. Let's check the first one again. Okay. Down there, they are all linked together, so we just have to set up one and everything is set up together. Now we switch to the first component. The center one will check if the component is there, if this color can be found in that spot. So we just add the color again, disable the other colors and we're done. Second is the circle finder again. So we can basically set it up like we already did with the fiducials here. Filtering, then we check for the edges. We only want to see the circle shape of the component. It's too much, like that. The radius is quite good. All right, like that. So again, minimum value. And now we can set up how much the component may move. So let's put in a value for now. And later we might need to adjust it. That's quite strict right now. The last one is the polarity check, which is already in place. We can just put in another filter to make it more stable if you want. But as long as it's brighter down there, then on the other side it will detect it. Because this component is the same over there and over there, they are all set up already. So we can just put in the same on this component, raise the limit, set the color, disable the other one. Set a filter here, change the edge values like that, change the radius. So it's fitting. Now we have the circle, change the limits and minimum value and maximum movement. Last is the polarity again, but this is already set up. You can just put in a filter if you want. And the other one is linked again. So next component, we again have the center one to check for the color of the body, disable the second one. This here is another algorithm, we don't have to set up anything, we'll just search for the same structure, we just set the limits. Here we need to raise the contrast for the text a bit, so like that, so it will clearly take the form of the text, it can move as much as it would like but the limit should be very low, so any difference will be detected. On this one, we just use a filter to filter out this polarity edge we have here to see if it's on the right position. Raise the contrast a bit and enable some features like that. Change the threshold, that's correct and set up the limit again, it should be a minimum of 1000 white pixels found. And this one is linked, so set up with it again. So there's one more component. Same again, we check for the color of the body here. Add this, and now we have a third algorithm for the position, where we need to adjust the template for it. We can rotate it. If it's not in zero degree right now, then tell the software what to search for. This here, a little bit larger. Press add template and put it in a global folder. So we could use that template on another test plan as well. Just select it and here it is. You can just set the features 
like we want, maximum rotation we want to check for. And we're done setting it up, so we can just put in the limits again, maximum movement and maximum rotation. And we're done creating our test plan. Check, no errors. So we can now put in the board with a defect. We have one prepared here. Just put it in the system, hit scan and it will take an image and show us the defect. So there's a wrong polarity. If we just switch back to the template, we see the component should be the other way around. So this was found. Let's go back to the main interface and we can check out how this will look for the operator later. So we just put in the board again, hit the start button on the keyboard, the camera will do an image and show us this component polarity error. And that's how you create a quick test plan for the THD Modus AOI.